So I think it is true that Moore's Law is slowing down. Um, people have all kinds of ideas about things they're going to do to keep it going. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. Um, but the version of it that is important for AI, which is for AI specifically, how big can we make our biggest models? However we get there, you know, plugging a bunch of computers together, optical interconnects, whatever it takes to be able to sort of train these massive models. Um, that has been growing about 8x per year for about eight years now. And I think it's going to keep going like that for about five years. So again, at this point, I have this like narrow focus on this one thing that's really important to me. Um, there's probably a lot of other things that are going to happen for compute. Um, but the question is, are we going to have bigger and bigger computers to train neural networks on? And the answer is yes, and that's super exciting. There was a Recode uh, interview you gave where you said, um, we will, humanity will at some point build our digital intelligence that surpasses human intelligence. How do you feel like that affects some of these um, kind of underlying policy issues? Well, I think I said, or what, what I meant to say is, uh, we are guaranteed to eventually do that if we don't destroy ourselves first, which is possible. Mm. Um, you know, I think the world is in an unstable place. But given enough time, I think biological intelligence should always end up creating digital intelligence, which is likely to be superior in many ways. Um, whether or not we ever create digital consciousness is, is uh, I think, up for debate. But digital intelligence, given enough time, is for sure. Uh, and that, I think that just makes everything super different. Um, I think humans are really good at a lot of things, uh, but computers and AI turn out to be really good at a lot of things as well. And my, my most optimistic hope for the future is that humans and AI are some sort of hybrid merged human and AI together is just sort of far more capable than, than either on their own. Hmm. I think it's very hard to think about what the world definitively looks like when, in when computers are more intelligent in some ways than humans or when computers can do most work that humans can. Um, so the only prediction I can make with confidence is that things will be very different. Um, and anyone, I think, who says we're going to keep everything the same is lying. Uh, but although change is inevitable, um, we can work really hard to make sure the future, although it's guaranteed to be different, guaranteed to be different is better.